yes, people, never a foul. Obviously, the Arsenal reaction to the Man City game or Manchester City, vice versa, 1-0. But before we get into it, obviously, we've got Daps here. Who else would you need to have other than a Man City fan actually telling you what's actually good? But before you do that, make sure you smash the like button before we get into anything. Likes are very important. We need every single like as possible. But yeah, man, let's just dive straight into it. 1-0 Man City, Arsenal. I think it's more of a game of two halves. The second half, it was just Man City dominance. What we know, maybe Thomas Party coming off, is he injured? So I've heard Daps that it was pre-planned. Pre-planned? I'm not too sure about that one, man. Did did they, did, the, did the people on Twitter ask Arte if it was pre-planned? You know what I mean? Might be a blessing in disguise, you know, that they went out of this competition. Mm. What were you thinking? Well, listen, it was a matter I said before, and this isn't me coming out. I've just said at the end of the stream, right? Nothing I say after this, I want anyone to take that I am not doubting. The best team this season is still currently Arsenal Football Club. Yeah? Mm. The team that are top of the league by five points with a game in hand is still Arsenal Football Club. Hands down, Manchester City have not been good enough. However, before the game, I said, firstly... That Tottenham game, whether Arsenal fans want to downplay it or not, in the back of the players' heads, the managers' heads, the fans' heads, is that was probably the first time where you've seen a Manchester City team be two goals down and come back. And it's a little reminder of what they can do when they put their mind to it. And again today, it's the same thing. Listen, Arsenal have been sensational this season. They deserve to be where they are. Every single hurdle they have overcome. today. It's the FA Cup. It's not the league. Neither of us really are that bothered about winning the FA Cup. But it's today was the first time this season you lot were coming up against Big Bro. You, the, the teacher was coming up <laughs> against the master. In the last 12 times we've played you, we've won 11 and drawn one in the league. Mm, mm. So this was a huge hurdle. Let's go out there and show, right? Yes, you rotated. A few players, right? But let's be real. Holding, he didn't look great, but it was nil-nil until Saliba came on. Um, <laughs> well, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm not oh, saying the messenger. Oh, I'm just saying, right? Um, Saka was on the pitch. Saka was really good. Was he? You know what? No, 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 no. I think it's a, that's a discredit. Saka wasn't. Saka was just trying to be Saka. Nathan Ake was just that good Thank today. Thank you, bro. That's what I was about to get to. He Nathan was just Ake. That good. Right. So I've seen this week because obviously there's rumors that there's a lot of people that are unhappy at City, right? Mm. So the City Twitter lot are talking about Cancelo should be starting. He's better than Ake. And I'm like, I'm sorry, do you even watch the team you claim to support? Nathan Ake has been our best defender this season, hands down. John Stones, when he's on the pitch, great, but Ake's been there. Every single game, switching between left back and centre back, and that finished today. Oh, mate, better than Darwin Nunes, mate. I think he needs Bro. to go have a training regime with, you know, even <laughs> he's not even he's not even right um, footed. Do you know what? In a strange way, the John Stones thing, because I was saying before Ooh, Stones got injured, that was Stones and Akanji, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. Neither of them's a leader. Neither of them, and when, what I mean is, neither of them lead the line. Rico Lewis yeah. today had. I I'm happy right. he came off because he looked a bit, he looked like he didn't know when to kind of when Stones was going to come in. There was a bit of miscommunication. And I was saying, we need a leader on. Like back in the day when it was Otamendi, Stones, and probably uh, Demichelis, any of those three as a partnership was bad. The minute you put a company or a Laporte next to any of them, different story. And it's the same now. You need a Laporte or a Diaz to lead that back line. The minute Laporte came on, we looked better at the back. Um, mm. and same with Walker coming on. We looked better. Bernardo Silva came on and looked good. Looked, He came on at the perfect time and yeah. calmed the game down. Jack Grealish today, sensational. Anyone that anyone that wonders like why we paid for Jack Grealish and why he starts so many games, his ball retention is insane. Stupid, isn't it? It's insane, man. It's it, and and again, the way he drew the two players, held on to the ball till the perfect time to lay it back to Ake. Perfect. Alvarez came on, and what I love from smack Alvarez the, just smack the post, just fearless, smack bro, the post. Done. But That's the way he was letting it off from 
out far. Bro, when you've got Haaland that is going to chase the, the ball down, fucking let it off. Let it off. Because if the keeper don't keep hold of it, Haaland's going to put it in. Straight. Everything today, that second half performance. Do you know what, Cass? I was thinking, yeah? Mm. Tottenham, first half. We were okay till the two goals. But until those two goals, we were looking okay. We were looking like a team that lacked confidence, but we are looking okay, right? Yeah. Only okay. Second half against Tottenham, we came out. Then I went back to the United game. Again, first half, we looked okay. Not confident, but okay. Second half, we came out and we looked good. Until the decision, but we're not going to go back on that. But it, it feels like at the moment, what we need is just a bit of momentum, right? Like first half, nil, nil, Pep can go, right, boys, we're building again. You're doing the fundamentals. Now let's come out. And the beginning of the second half, we were chasing every fucking ball down. We were pressing. And could I you think say, today, could, could, momentum, because, bro, right now, it's a hard time for us to get this momentum because we played Arsenal today. Our next game's against Tottenham. I believe our next game after that is against Arsenal at the Emirates. Next game after that is Leipzig away. So, like, we haven't got time to get momentum. We're having to play our biggest games trying to get momentum. Yeah. So today was huge, man. It's let me, let me let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. This is I don't. I think this is going to go over so many heads. Um. Obviously, it's a, it's obvious. John Stones just can't stay fit, but. Was Laporte a bit of a blessing in disguise coming on? Because yeah, he changed our saying, whole bro. outlook. That is exactly what I'm saying. Like, listen, John Stones is is massive for us. Like, for me, like, you need a Laporte or a Diaz and then a Stones or an Akanji or an Ake. Like, you need Laporte or Diaz on the pitch because they lead the line. They calm things down. So, um, I think it was. But it's not because it's we another need defender Stones. injured now, because, isn't it? And it was very clear when Stones was injured... Like we had Diaz and Laporte both um, both out warming up, and I straight away I was like, "It's going to be Laporte because Laporte is a ball player and he's left footed." Yeah, but Stones is right footed, bro. Yeah, no, but you can because Kanji's left right footed, but it's like you can just shift him on the right in it, and yeah, uh, them two yeah. together looked a lot more comfortable. And I suppose but, but, it, I suppose it does help. Like, look, I suppose it, it does help. Look, they didn't. You played, a, I would say, a stronger lineup. Of course, you did. Um, you wanted yeah, this a little bit more. You needed to put a statement. But I, I wonder what this does psychologically because I don't know what's happening with the Arsenal team in terms of party. If he's injured, uh, Martinelli came on late. Maybe this is why I say, look, I don't know if Arteta, you could say, he just said, you know what, go out there and do what you kind of can. You know, like, we've got loads of games coming up. Maybe he's, he's putting priorities here and there. I don't want to downplay no, anything. I've been saying but... before, we've got nine games till our next game. Arsenal have got eight, yeah? Mm. I get neither of us... Right now, we did not, neither of us needed to rest players too much, yeah? You've got another game and in, what, seven, eight days? Nine, say, like, I was worried about Rico Lewis, because Rico Lewis is in form, and I thought, he's not the quickest. And yeah. against Martinelli or Trossard, Trossard Trossard yeah, played very I, well today in the first Trossard game. was good. Matt Bo, I'd love Trossard at City, man. Fucking hell. But Trossard and Martinelli, both of them are dangerous, yeah? So, um, I was worried about Rico Lewis. So, I get, like Mo said, maybe Arteta was playing some fringe players so that if we did lose if they did lose it's kind of like don't worry you know this wasn't our strongest 11 we go again and look this is not going to be the downfull of arsenal's league oh, of course uh, not. push of course yeah not. but and neither was us winning two games against winning uh against tottenham but they are just little reminders of what city can do just little reminders and that's all right Everyone has said, Liverpool fans have told everyone what a title race with Manchester City is like, yeah? Mm. And these are just the little things. Like, mm. bro, the, the, the master taught the student. It's as simple as that. He told Arteta, go and, go and collect the combs. Go and collect the bibs, bro. <laughs> master Roshi in the building, man, against Goku and that, man, but uh yeah man look in my opinion the game was obviously it, it was a it, both teams looked a bit cautious and then yeah, you, and then you sense. see the fullbacks obviously when Aki actually got forward and supported Grealish for once you see what can happen it was a bit more dangerous oh, but, but do you know I said this on the watch long do you know what I've noticed with Ake yeah because I was very adamant earlier in the season that Ake defensively is great but going forward he offers nothing right but I feel like Every week, he's starting to offer more going forward. Like, Pep's ultimately, 
doing what he did with Zinchenko, doing what he did with Delph, where he's changing Ake as a player. So, and that finish, I, I mean, pff, fucking hell, man. But yeah, he just plays that nice in the bottom. It, it, it wrapped, it wrapped nicely, man. Mm. But yeah, man, obviously, big up for the, you know, the reaction here, you know. So I, I'll just say, listen, and, and I don't want to be shameless. I'm On being very round. clear, yeah? yeah. And I'm going to be very consistent with everything that I say. Right. When people I even had people saying before the game during the watch long saying, Oh, why aren't you why aren't you talking about Arsenal's starting eleven? You're trying to downplay nah, I'm not trying to move the goalpost. You put that no, you put that eleven on the field. Downplay you know I mean? saying, Oh, City should win this because of the players. And I said, No, 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 I'm not talking on your starting eleven because I've been consistent with this all season, right? I and in fact, even in the summer when people were talking about players that other teams might buy. And should mm. I be, um, am I worried? And I said, no, because the best Manchester City beats anyone, right? If we're not the best Manchester City, we don't win the league. So it don't matter who starts for Arsenal. If we're not our best, Arsenal's like rotated team beat us. Mm. Southampton beat us. So I don't need to look at Arsenal's team. I know we're at our best, we beat you. We're not, you win. It's as simple as that. And it's the same for the rest of the season. If we are at our best for the rest of the season, that will mean we beat Arsenal home and away. That's well, six points. At the moment, it's 1-0. And even though it was 1-0, but I mean, out of the three battles that you got coming up, and number two is 1-0 Pep Guardiola of Arteta. Can they bounce back at the Emirates? I'm pretty sure it's going to be a whole different whole ball game. game bro. All different game. Emirates, it won't be easy. I don't even think a, a draw might be enough for Arteta. But is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? A, a draw isn't enough for Man City on that game. You're obviously going to be looking to win that as well. But, you know, that's, you know, going to be back for more and more of these my reactions. My weekend's good now, bro. My weekend's I, chilled. I can chill out. <laughs> and watch the football. And, and, um, the crumble. Hopefully and listen, <laughs> the mind games have started. I, there we go, man. I, guys, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you drop a comment down below if you made it this far. Obviously, interact with one another. We'll interact with you. And it's as simple as that. And literally, we are out.